Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Hat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. It's a big week packed with great stuff. Got a lot to talk about. I've got a plane to catch to San Diego, so I'm gonna try and get through as many of these as fast as I can. Follow the bouncing ball. This is Secret Empire number six. One of the biggest books out there, maybe ever. Kudos to these guys for creating a really, really awesome event. Uh, started out really controversial with all the Captain America, Steve Rogers stuff, uh, but they won over the critics. They put together something really awesome. Uh, it's right in the middle of the series. It's, it's really hitting its stride. If you've been holding out on this, grab uh, number zero and catch up to this week's number six. Uh, grab the trade paperbacks for that Steve Rogers stuff. Really, really fun stuff. Yes, I'm biased because I'm a big Cap guy, a big Avengers guy, but uh, if you're a superhero comics fan, you're gonna like that. Good stuff. And lots of other Brave New, or Secret Empire stuff to talk about. This is Brave New World number four. Everybody's favorite Misty Knight there. Be talking about some Netflix folks in a minute. X-Men Gold, one of the biggest books out there. Well, this X-Men Blue, X-Men Gold's been really huge. Again, we'll talk more about the X-Men in just a second, but that's another Secret Empire tie-in, along with Doctor Strange, teaming up with the Kingpin there. And U.S. Avengers completes your Secret Empire stuff for the week. Astonishing X-Men number one. Told you we'd be talking more about some X-Men stuff. All the X-Men books have been huge. X-Men Blue, X-Men Gold really took off. It's a great time to be an X-Fan. This one, Astonishing, is kind of, well, a lot of your other favorite X characters. You can read more about this one in our newsletter this week. I'm a huge fan of this creative team. Love some Charles Soule, love some... Jim Chung, love some old man Logan, fun stuff. And Totally Awesome Hulk is your WMD book of the week. That rounds out your X stuff. Let's talk some Spider-Man. This is Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number two. Still got a couple copies of number one lying around if you get here fast. This is uh, getting back to more of your classic Spider-Man. Reads a little like, uh, like your old Marvel team-ups. If you go way back in the day like I do. You might remember Peter Parker the Spectacular from back in the day. That was a fun title. Spider-Man 2099. And Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows with everyone's favorite Venom there on the cover. Rounds out your spider stuff. How about some women of Marvel? Like Miss Marvel. The one that started it all. Or Mighty Thor. Again, a little like uh, Steve Rogers' Captain America. This book started off with a lot of controversy, but they won a lot of people over because great stories and great art makes good comics. I'm a huge classic Thor fan, but I've been really loving this title. So again, if you've been holding out, grab those trade paperbacks, catch up to the recent issue, because that's good stuff. And Invincible Iron Man, starring Ironheart, rounds out your women of Marvel stuff. Daredevil. And Luke Cage are your aforementioned Netflix characters for the week. Not a lot of people jumping in on this Luke Cage stuff, but you're missing out because it's a really solid book. Uh, they're only, what's this, number three? So grab these recent issues. It's fun stuff. All new Guardians of the Galaxy is your Outer Space Guys book of the week. The Royals is your Inhumans book of the week. Going to be talking a lot about the Inhumans in the next few months. Going to be a lot of buzz around these guys. And Monsters Unleashed rounds out your Marvel Universe stuff. But a couple more Marvels to talk about, like Thor Ragnarok Prelude. This is the second issue to your prequel to the next big Marvel movie. Again, still got a couple copies of number one in stock if you get here fast. You've already seen Spider-Man like four times. Get ready to go see Thor Ragnarok. And a couple of Star Wars books, speaking of movies, here's Darth Maul number five. This is your last issue of the Darth Maul mini. And here's your latest issue of Poe Dameron, one of the ongoings. There's Star Wars proper, there's Darth Vader, there's Poe Dameron as your ongoings. Darth Maul's the mini that's ending and they'll be starting another shortly. Can't say enough about what a great job they've been doing with all those Star Wars books. Moving on to the other guys the other half of the big two. This is Batman. Can't say enough about this one. Probably the hottest title in comics. Always is, always has been. Somehow with number 24, it got even more popular. This is number 26. You want to grab a reprint of 24, grab the reprint of 25, pick up this week's 26. 
Can't say enough about Batman. No, I'm sorry, that's 27. I'm already one off. See how fast they get by me? This is Batman 66 meets the Legion of Superheroes. Can't say enough about how much fun this Batman 66 stuff has been. There was a main title, then you met Green Hornet, uh, the Avengers, well, the 60s Avengers, um, Wonder Woman 77, now it's Legion of Superheroes. We love you, Adam West. Keep that book rolling. Batwoman and Nightwing round out your Bat books for the week. Nightwing is one of my favorite DC characters, one of my favorite DC books. Uh, if you're a Bat fan and you're not reading Nightwing, you're missing out. Superman, speaking of one of my favorite characters and one of my favorite books. Uh, this thing has been red hot. I talk about Superman every week because Superman, action, uh, Superwoman, Supergirl, all those good things are all really popular. If you haven't been following the super books, this is a part one. This is your jump in point to uh, find out about the new Superboy. And speaking of the new Superboy, Super Sons is the son of Superman and the son of Batman taking on evil and saving the world. Tons of fun there. Trinity, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman in the same book. Every single issue. Can't beat that team up unless you're talking about the whole team up. This is Justice League. Again, one of the biggest books DC has. Always one of the most popular titles in comics. Everybody loves when all the greatest of the DCU get together. Speaking of the greatest of the DCU, Green Arrow has his hands full with Wonder Woman this week. And Green Lanterns. This is probably the most popular of the Lanterns titles. Everybody should have one of the Lanterns books on their, on their list. This one, or Hal Jordan. Great stuff. And Aquaman. With one of my favorite ladies, Mira, there on the cover. Rounding out your rebirth stuff, but always more DC to talk about, like DC Bombshells. This book has been a lot of fun. Flying under a lot of people's radars. You guys are missing out. Cool, interesting takes on a lot of your favorite DC characters. Injustice 2 with the origin of Supergirl. Your other extracurricular DCU. Cave Carson is your Young Animals book for the week. And Wildstorm by one of my all-time favorite guys, Warren Ellis, is your uh, Wildstorm book of the week. Good stuff. And a great week for all the other guys, too. Some of my favorite Dark Horse books this week. It's Whedon Week. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 11, because Buffy keeps right on rolling with great stories and great art. This is Angel Season 11, probably my favorite Whedon character. Maybe even more than Malcolm Reynolds. Love me some vampire with a soul. And Aliens Dead Orbit. Another great dark horse property. And last but not least is Shaolin Cowboy. Because I love me some Jeff Darrow. And I love to show you that Dark Horse does a lot more than licensed property stuff. Everybody should have a Dark Horse book on their list. And everyone should pick up anything from Jeff Darrow. Because he is truly a unique talent. Amazing, amazing artist. Great stuff from Dark Horse. Invincible is coming to its rapid conclusion, its exciting demise. Grab these last few issues from the guy who does Walking Dead. Descender is probably your image book of the week, unless you read I Hate Fairyland, one of the most popular books Image has, and that's really saying something because they got a million popular books like Lazarus from my man Greg Rucka. Everybody should read anything from Greg Rucka. Moonstruck and Generation Gone are your two first issue gotta have it image books of the week. I always encourage anybody to grab any first issue image book. And these two, Moonstruck and Generation Gone, really great examples of the huge, huge range and diversity that Image does. One of the best publishers out there. And as always, it's an awesome week for all the other guys too. Speaking of awesome publishers, here's Archie. Talk about these guys all the time. This is your latest issue of the main book. A lot going on with this. A lot of people talking about this title. Uh, this one, Betty and Veronica, Reggie, Jughead, uh, Afterlife with Archie, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Can't say enough about Archie and the great job they're doing with all their books. This is not your dad's Archie comics. Check out the, uh, what's this one, number 22. Go back to number 20 to pick up the first issue of this arc and catch up to this because this book is top notch. Again, Mark Wade, one of the all-time greats. 
Betty Page gets back to comics. She used to be a dark horse for a long time. Now she's a dynamite. There's a whole bunch of different covers for this book. If uh, you're a classic pinups fan, you definitely want to pick up some Betty Page. Doesn't get any more classic than that. Magnus. It's my other dynamite book this week because I love all these gold key guys. You can read more about Magnus in Sovereigns. But if you love the old Valiant stuff, if you love the old, old gold key stuff, you definitely want to be checking out Magnus. New interesting take on the character. Great week for IDW too. Here's Rom versus the Transformers. You love the Transformers. You may not know who Rom is. Maybe I have that backwards and you love Rom and you... Transformers are a little after your time, but either way, robots fighting robots is always cool. Everybody loves some ROM Space Knight. And the X-Files. It's my other IDW book of the week because I love me some X-Files. Great Scully cover there. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is your Boom Studios book of the week because you love the MMPR. But Sisters of Sorrow is my Boom Studios book of the week because, well, nothing cooler than nuns with guns, man. Nuns are tough. Secret Weapons is your Valiant Book of the Week because that's sort of like their Justice League and that's awesome. And Rapture is your other Valiant Book of the Week because it's got Ninjak and Shadow Man, two of their coolest characters. Always encouraging you guys to have a Valiant Book on your list. Great week for the kids' books. Adventure Time Comics isn't exactly what you think it is. It's Adventure Time, but it's done uh, in the art styles of modern comic artists not in the Adventure Time art style. You can get Adventure Time art style in their regular book, but Adventure Time Comics gets really cool creators to uh, play around in the Adventure Time universe in their own style. So if you like Adventure Time or if you just like cool comics, pick that up because it's a fun, interesting take on all ages stuff. DuckTales gets a new series starting this week. Everybody loves some DuckTales. Always talking about what a great job they're doing with all these Disney books. That's fun stuff. And Simpsons Comics. My favorite all ages title. Always happy when a Simpsons book comes out. Always talking about what a great job Bongo does with Simpsons and Futurama, Simpsons Illustrated, Bart Simpson. Great, great stuff. Just as good as the show's ever been. Love me some Simpsons. Oh, when I was going through the image books, I wanted to mention this guy. What is this guy? It's a big black box. It's a big image mystery box. It's their 25th anniversary, so they've put some super awesome things inside this mysterious black box. Going for big, big money on the internet. What's in here? I don't know. You gotta pay a, quite a few bucks to find out. Check that thing out on eBay or go to imagecomics.com or whatever have you, good stuff. But the real thing I wanted to talk about is this, 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 is the Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide. This is the Comic Book Guy Bible. This, if you listen to our uh, Collecting Vintage Comics podcast last week uh, during the pre-Comic-Con Comic-Con, we talk a lot about the Overstreet Price Guide. It lists every single comic ever published in this country, different prices for different grades. If you want to know about your favorite titles, if you want to know anything about anything, pick up an Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide. It's $30, $29.95. There's soft cover, there's hard cover, there's big print ones for old guys like me. Uh, again, if you want to get serious about comics, you gotta, gotta, gotta have an Overstreet Price Guide. They come out once a year, and it's the week of Comic-Con, so here it is, the Overstreet Price Guide. My man Marcus uh, is already in line outside because he wants his right now. Great, great week of stuff, so make sure you check those shipping lists, get down to your local shop, pick up something super awesome. I want to tell you that I am headed off to San Diego Comic-Con. Yes, Black Hat Comic staff is once again headed down to the big show. Uh, I will be posting live video updates while I'm down there, be texting a lot and send a lot of pictures and whatever to our Facebook page of all the million and one things that go on down there. Uh, so keep up with our Facebook page, check back regularly. Uh, if you're not fortunate enough to be able to get down to the show, I'm going to do my very best to bring as much of the show back to you as possible so keep up with the Facebook page make sure you get back here next week to check out all the cool swag I'm gonna come back with we come back with cool exclusives and tons of vintage comics every single year so if you're into that kind of stuff don't miss out uh, make sure you get back here next week and check out all the good stuff
That's all I got for you for this week. Uh, oh, sorry, one more thing. I want to thank everybody that came out to the pre-Comic-Con Comic-Con last week. We had tons and tons of fun at all the different events. They were really super awesome. Again, we try and bring a little bit of the con back to you guys, uh, so we hope you had as much fun as we did. Uh, if you couldn't make it out, you can get over to our YouTube channel and check out the podcasts, uh, check out some panels that we did that day, uh, that week. It was really, really fun. Thanks for everybody to participating. Thanks for everybody that helped out. Thanks for everybody that participated in the swap meet. That was our biggest, best one yet. Lots and lots of fun. Uh, don't miss out next year. Our events are really, really fun. I think the next one is Halloween. Anyway, that's all I got for you for this week. You can check us out at blackcatcomics.biz. Check us out at Facebook. Check out our YouTube channel. Check out our podcast at soundcloud.com. Or just get on down here to Rock and Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.